Modern art. It sells for a fortune in exclusive galleries. But what's it ever done for us? Has it influenced the clothes that we wear? Or the buildings that we live in? The cars that we drive? The books we read to our children? Even the way that we think? I'm Alistair Souk, and I earn a living writing about art. This week, Picasso. It goes something like this. Picasso has a visitor. And the visitor says, what is art? Picasso thinks about it. Then he points to his sculpture of a bicycle saddle and a pair of handlebars, which he combined to make a bull's head. And he shrugs. What is art? What is not, he replies. His work is instantly recognisable, often compared to a child's with eyes in the wrong places and noses sticking out in strange directions. But it still manages to sell quite well. This one, called Dora Maar with a Cat, went for $95 million. Picasso chose to paint like this, despite the fact that he could paint like this by the time he was 16. Pablo Picasso was born in Malaga, on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, in 1881. He was able to draw before he could speak, and supposedly the first word he spoke was the Spanish for pencil. His father, Don Jose, an art teacher, was astounded by his son's natural talent. His father was an artist, right? I mean... His father was a, father was a very bad artist, and... Uh... I would imagine a very good art teacher because, I mean, he, Picasso learnt everything from his father. Rather like people who have a, a child who's going to be a child star. I mean, he had to draw and draw and draw and draw and draw and, and Picasso became absolutely obsessed with drawing. Drawing was the, the heart of, of, of his work and if you couldn't draw it, 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 it was, was no point. He hated the word virtuosity but, I mean, his incredible ability to to draw um, in any style he wanted. Picasso once said that if he hadn't been a painter, he would have been one of these guys, a picador. The word picador comes from the Spanish picard, which means to irritate or provoke. And you could say that's exactly what Picasso did all his life. Obviously not in the bull ring, but in his relationships with others, definitely. And most important, in his art. Young Pablo revered the picador so much one was the subject of his first oil painting, made when he was around eight. Sixteen, he'd won a place at Madrid's prestigious Academy of Fine Art. In Madrid, Picasso studied the greats. Like this by the old Spanish master, Velázquez. And he made a perfectly respectable copy. So even as a teenager, Picasso had pretty much got the hang of classical painting. But he was deeply unhappy at art school, and within a year he'd left, moving to Barcelona, where his father was now a professor of art. Here he began mixing with arty bohemian types, and met Carlos Casagamas, a fellow artist who became Picasso's best friend. In 1900, around his 19th birthday, Picasso and Casagamas left Spain and moved to the epicentre of world art, Paris. This was where any ambitious young artist needed to be. 